Memorial Day weekend. You guys know what that means. The start of summer and a day off. Wait, I don't have the day off. All right, welcome back to the Subaru gang. Happy Memorial Day weekend. I hope you're all having a great weekend, safe, healthy with your family and friends. You know, one thing they never tell you when you go to photojournalism school is you gotta work holidays. Don't get me wrong, I'm not complaining. I am in no way complaining. I love my job and I love that being at special events and special things happening on special days is part of my job. But I just, you know, I just want you to know, if you're, you know, for you youngsters thinking about getting into the profession, or for you people who are thinking about a career change and thinking about photography, just know that, you know, any day is fair game to work. So if you're about that nine to five life, about that nine to five grind, probably not for you. But uh, today we've got uh, something really cool happening for you guys, something really special. I'm driving into Fenway Park, so I'll check in with you guys when I get there, all right? Yo, all right, we're here inside Fenway Park. We got something really cool happening. What's gonna happen is they're gonna drop the big American flag over that big old beautiful green monster right over there. All the frontliners and everybody who's gone through this ordeal. You know, it's a nice time to acknowledge everybody. We understand that we're in a crazy time and this is it. Drop the flag, salute America, and good luck to everybody. Typically how this would work is the stadium would be full of people, beautiful game day. You know, they drop the flag in front of all the fans and it's part of the, the fanfare um, and the beauty of this place. But Obviously, given everything going on in the world, we don't have baseball right now, but they still wanted to drop the flag on Memorial Day. We're here to document it. We're here to get some awesome pictures and um, you know, bring it to you guys on the other end. But our standard is to kind of have a lot of different angles, a lot of different ways to show something. So we don't really feel like just two photographers is enough to really document this thing. So what I'm gonna do to compensate is I'm also gonna set up a couple different remote cameras around different areas of Fenway. So basically we'll have two live human shooters down on the field to get two angles of the flag drop, and then an additional two remote cameras to also get two more angles of the drop. Four angles, two photographers, one flag drop. Little clamp, these Manfrotto magic arms. Pretty much just clamps right onto any kind of surface or railing, something like that. Got a camera here, D5. I've got a 24 to 70 lens on here. I wanna shoot it a little bit wider from up here so I can get a little bit of the context of the infield and the empty stadium to show that the stadium is in fact empty. If you look through, this is kind of a preview of what we're looking at, okay? Safety first, always. So cable ties, always. Multiple cable ties. Really lock this thing down, make sure nothing happens. These cameras have what's called interval timer shooting built into the camera. You can choose your interval at how often the camera will fire. So every so many seconds, the camera will fire a picture. So I'm gonna set it very low, like pretty much one photo every two seconds. All right, this thing's pretty much ready to go. I'm gonna set it here. Hopefully it works. We'll move on to the next one. All right, so here we are, second location, center field, flagpole. We're gonna try a nice uh, fisheye lens, fisheye wide angle lens of, uh, of the flag from pretty much right in front of it. I couldn't really find anything to clamp it to out there, so I improvised a little bit. I've got the clamp on my tripod that I was using to film this video. It's not pretty, but it's gonna work. So this is what the shot looks like. We got a fisheye right at the monster. And uh, hopefully 
we get a good little shot here. All right, timer's active. Hopefully it works. We got both cameras set up. One on upper first base, one out here in center field. Maddie's in place over there. I'm gonna go down and get in place in left field on the field level. We'll knock it out. We got Luke. Yep, we got day. old Cal just ready, now, ready to shoot. Yep. yep, video production's in the house. We got the bugler up there. He's gonna be playing a little taps. Right, we're down here on the field level. I got the remotes all set up. We're waiting for the drop. We got a couple guys down here shooting. So, let's see how it goes. Wow, guys, that was awesome. Never really seen the flag drop like that to an empty stadium before. It's really cool to see it kind of in a different life than the usual game day. So I know I got the shot here. I gotta go check if we got the remotes upstairs. So we'll go find them now. Moment of truth right here. You never know. Oh yeah, we got some, we got some. All right, we're good. Number one is good. Find number two. Good job. Good job. Okay. How'd it go? Good. You got it? I got it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we're good. Two remotes up, two remotes down. Solid. All right, so to recap this all, we had the American flag dropping over the green monster. Maddie positioned herself on the field level on first base side, and I put myself on the field level on the third base side close to left field. We put our first remote on the upper first base side about as high as we possibly could to get a wide shot of the flag in the context of the empty stadium. And we put our second remote in center field really close to the flag itself to get kind of a unique perspective and a different angle that we can't normally get when fans are in the ballpark. Now they all come together to give us more than the two looks we could have gotten ourselves and it also gives us a really nice, diverse, well-rounded take for you guys to look at and check out on social media. It's always a good feeling when you put in all the work to set up the remote and it actually works. I had plenty of times where it didn't work, so today was a good day. You know, if you like this video, make sure you subscribe. Drop a comment below. Let me know what you want to see. Let me know what you like. Make sure you hit the like button. It really does mean a lot to me, guys, um, starting out this channel. So I will, uh, I will see you at the next one. Have a great Memorial Day. <laughs>